this queen has a superpowers. Welcome all once again to the channel. If you are new here, you can consider subscribing and liking the video to see more stuff like this, why not? And of course, if you wanna buy these pieces, you can buy it through affiliate link in the description box. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than the previous one because it is going to be without the unboxing part. Why? So this time uh, there was a little bit of a drama. So the pieces arrived normally as usual via DHL, but some youngsters, young delinquents, this time for real, they decided to break into the DHL van and steal all the stuff from the van. So they stole a bunch of things, uh, including my chess pieces. The police have uh, found them and they found the pieces. So out of three sets, only one pawn is missing. But the Royal Chess Mall will place that um, for free, of course, because of this uh, bad luck. It is not their fault, it is not the uh, fault of DHL, it is just bad luck. All right, now we're gonna do as usual, close up of each piece so you can see all the details. We're gonna go back to this magnificent queen she was able to stay like that because of the shape of the base it is a little bit different uh, than i'm used to see this part is a little bit cut it is not straight uh, and because of that shape the queen is able to stay like that with this shape the pieces are a little bit more stable so this is the black queen of the so-called 3.6 professional Staunton chess pieces. It uh, reminds me a little bit of a Reykjavik queen, but uh, it's still different. This is a little bit more elongated. So it's not genuine ebony, it is um, stained black or ebonized. Let's see the white palm. Looking good. The black palm. Also, the base in that fashion, white bishop. Has uh, like a cut approximately two millimeters wide. And this bottom part of the cut has a little bit uh, of uh, extra rounded cut on this side and also on this side. The ball looks pretty sturdy and it is connected to the body with a decent amount of surface so it's not overly fragile i'm not afraid for this little ball it will not chip off easily the second one pretty identic with the brother The black bishop and looking good also. Not bad. The rook might be my favorite piece of this set. I don't know. It's just in a proportion of beautiful. It's uh, very much a classical looking uh, rook, but I like how this is shallow, six cuts, not overly complicated, not overly elaborated, but just right. Very deep, rich black color. Second, a white rook, and the second black rook. Why 
I do, you say? I'm happy. These pieces are bought by my friend, who is buying equipment for the chess club. But before he gets the pieces, I get them to make a review. So this is what he has chosen. I believe it's a good, good purchase for the price, of course. Why not? It's a clean mane. Pretty nice head. Very stantonish, very stantonish. Good teeth, the nose, eyes, ears. Quite nice. Wow. Doing good, doing good so far. The second, the immediate comparison. Quite the same to me. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on, guys. Wow. But sometimes the black stain doesn't look every time the same. Sometimes it is more polished and more beautiful, and sometimes it's less polished. Uh, but this time. Is pretty much polished. It's very typical looking stunt of design and you don't see nothing to complain about so far. What do you say? The second night. Brothers in arms. Quite glossy, quite glossy. It's not always the case with a stain, but this time it's, it's pretty remarkable, if you ask me. Another witch. This one does the black magic, but somebody got to do it. So this time, it is this lady. Nothing to complain. All good with the white one. You can see the grain of the boxwood. Subtle and nice. The White King, 3.6 inch tall. So it's a very playable set. I believe this uh, sets from 3.6, 3.65 up to 3.75 are the best sets for various types of the games. I believe that's the most preferred size. You see how the cross is done. There's a little ball on the top, and the head is getting pointy towards the top. And it has three rings. Pretty standard looking. I like it. The Black King from the opposing army. Again, dark and a rich, deep black color. Pretty good. The last queen. Nice surface. What do you say? Put in the comments your opinion about this set. I believe we are doing a pretty good job by putting this set on a 2.25 inch per square board. We got a plenty room to operate with the pieces. A 
Uh, it could be also doable on the smaller board, 55 millimeters, but it works both way. So it's up to you. Do you prefer a little bit smaller boards to get a better view, or you like a little wider boards to have more room? It's up to you. Now we're gonna do the design comparison with the championship or tournament design. This time I'm gonna use another tournament design. It is my next video actually. So usually I do this so with my Shishan championship design I have for years. This time I'm gonna do uh, with this one, which is also ebonized, just like the professional one we are reviewing this video. So let's start with the king. Obviously, looking for the top, the cross is uh, much different. It's uh, thicker on the championship design and it's a different approach. This one has a little ball on the top. Everything is a little bit uh, smaller on the professional. This base of the cross, it's uh, like uh, more roundish on the, this design and it's flat, flattened out on the championship design. Uh, the bases are different. This is like a classical approach of the base and then this is the other one. Which one do you prefer? Let's do the queens. So the tournament design is obviously thicker. This one is more elegant for sure. The ball on the top is larger and the crown of the queen is more simplified on this version than on this. This is a little bit more fancier, more elaborated. And overall, the body thickness is on the championship design. Quite different bishops. I actually like this one. Pretty interesting. Again, I would conclude this is much more elegant, more refined approach because of the cut ball on the top, a little bit different cut on the head of the bishop with the little extra cut on the base of the cut. Uh, the rings more elegant, thinner on this one. And this is a real working horse bishop. This one can go uh, you can go everywhere with this one. It will not break for sure. The rook comparison. This one is a little bit taller. Different approach of the top. And this one has four cuts. This one six. And the balcony walls are thicker on this one. And of course the knight. This is uh, the part where you can see obvious difference. Uh, this is much more elaborated and uh, fancier, if you ask me. But nevertheless, it's not always easy to make a completely symmetric tournament design like this. I believe it's uh, done pretty good. I will do a separated video on this set. I'll put the link in the description below. One do you prefer? And the pawns, which one is which? You can easily tell by looking at the bases. This is professional, this is tournament. Smaller head, obviously, a little bit more elegant, a little more chunkier. But I believe overall the championship or tournament design is a little bit heavier. We're gonna measure it right now. Let's do the weight comparison 45. 52 33 41 43 38 exception 31 40 17, 23, 47, 
57. So, 3.6 professional Staunton is a little bit lighter than a tournament design. The only exception is the knight. Actually, the knight is heavier with the Staunton design. All right. Okay, it's time for the last words. Well, I believe this is a nice set. Nice set for the price range. Completely standard. You cannot miss with this one. I like them both, actually. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, like, share and subscribe. And see you in the next one. Enjoy the slideshow right now. Bye.